Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching 4M Ranch and I'm Eric. And I got another uh, steel weed eater review for you today. Uh, so you're probably shopping around looking for a new weed eater, either for your lawn service or just to use around at the ranch. And uh, I've had a few that I've owned in the past and I uh, picked up this new one the other day and it's probably, I'd say, my favorite one that I've ever ran just because of this one feature that it's got and I'll show you here in a minute. But it's a Steel FS94R. We'll go over some of the features and see it so next. We'll go over some of the features right quick uh, on this weed eater. It's a 24.1 cc engine. It's got uh, 1.2 horsepower and it's uh, weighing in at 10.1 pounds. So it's very light. Uh, nice to carry around for a day's worth of work. And it has a 16.5 inch cutting swath and it is 18.3 ounces of mixed fuel is what it carries. So not the biggest fuel tank, but it still lasts for quite a while to get the job done and it's not as heavy carrying it around. So it's a little set up a little bit different than the other uh, professional series weed eaters. It's still got the old uh, Torx screw, whatever you want to call it, to get the uh, air cleaner off to service your filter. And then the choke is set up a little bit different. As you can see right here, uh, most of the other ones are on the front. This one actually, you got to turn it and push it in and it locks it. And then when you pull the throttle, it kicks it Our out. The plug's still covered under this top cap. The recoil still the same. It's not the easy start, but uh, I don't really like those, but I like how this one set up. And this is the throttle feature that I really like. So the best thing about this is if that I found is weed eating around fences. And here at uh, 4M Ranch, we have a lot of fences that we weed eat around. We don't usually spray our fence rows with Roundup just because it kind of looks tacky and we like to limit the use of chemicals here on our ranch. So we don't use a whole lot of Roundup. So in turn, we choose to weed eat most of our fences up by the road so it looks nice. And we got some fences that have cattle panel in them. And then if you've ever weed eat around chain link, it's kind of the same as cattle panel. Uh, you're weed eating along and you're <laughs> trimmer and you're sitting there trying to feather the throttle and we eat around it and the head hits it and it jerks into it and same thing is with weed eating around a uh, fence post it kind of becomes a pain in the butt so the favorite thing on this is this adjustable throttle so how this works is when you get yours you'll see it has a plus and minus sign so you start out with it all the way at the minus and that's no throttle at all so i got it scrolled all the way back can't push the throttle. If I put it all the way up to the plus, it's full throttle. So if you're weed eating around a fence, you want to sit there and feather it lightly. If you're in light grass, you can roll this back and then you can just have it about half throttle and not have to sit there and feather it. And you can just pull it all the way and it'll only give you half throttle. And that is a really nice feature to have for uh, weed eating around that type of uh, material. So this, uh, operator's handle here is rubber so it's pretty comfortable the anti-vibration system on this weed eater is really good so it doesn't vibrate your hand and your arm after a while's worth of use so that's pretty nice um, the stop buttons uh, just a one click so you don't have to sit here and make sure it's in the run position before you start it because it's always defaults back to the run position uh, it's got the uh, the spot here for your strap and this front handle it's pretty thin it's easy to grab with your hand it doesn't have the rubber coating on it like the the bigger weed eaters do and the head of the weed eater has this little screw here so you can pull that out and you can grease this so it's one other little service feature they've added um, to make it last even longer so I'm just going to read through uh, some of the uh, specifications, uh, other things it has. It has the adjustable front handle, which you can adjust this to your liking. Uh, it has a fully lined drive shaft, and it provides smooth operation with less vibration. 
polymer housing, protected choke lever, knob, throttle trigger interlock, air filter cover, and closed control cables, which is nice because sometimes that uh, throttle cable, some of the older ones, they'd get water in there and they'd get rusty and they'd rust out and break. Uh, has a heavy duty steel on steel clutch, protected spark plug, spark arrestor, upright fuel tank, and if you'll notice it's slotted right here so it's got a protective housing around the base of the fuel tank kind of like the stand for on the ground and it's got a little sight gauge right here for your fuel tank uh, let's see anti-vibration system the multi-function control handle and of course it's built in the USA now one con I don't like about it that I wish they would have put on here is you got the ability like I was saying to adjust where you want your throttle I wish they would have put a lock on the trigger some of the older weed ears you could full throttle lock it and I have to hold it and if it had that it'd be really nice so if you were weed eating down nothing but chain link you could set it to your desired throttle and just lock it and then just go on about it so that is one thing I wish it had but other than that I really like this weed eater right now uh, the month of April it was on sale so it was $50 off and you could get it for $2.99 at my steel dealer so it's usually like $3.59.99 somewhere in there so I was able to get it for $2.99 so anyway uh, we're gonna go out here and we're gonna demonstrate cutting some grass with it all right so this thing's pretty easy to start you just got your primer button right here on the front side go to about three pumps then the choke back here turn it and then push it in to lock it So we got some uh, fescue right here. I'm gonna show you how it cuts it in. I'm using 105 trimmer line, Oregon Gator line. So now I'm going to show you uh, this selectable throttle. We're going to go up here and we eat around some cattle panel and some trees. So we want it to be not full blast. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how that works. So I'll show you guys weed eating around some posts and cattle panel. And now this grass isn't very tall, but you'll kind of get the general idea of what I mean uh, when you're weed eating around it. So if I was to come up here with a regular weed eater and you're weed eating and it, you're sitting here trying to feather the throttle, you come up here and it just wants to wrap up around the post. Same thing with cattle panel. So I'm going to scroll this back to about a quarter throttle and I'll show you. So a lot more 
comfortable to operate. I'm not sitting there feathering the throttle. I set it where I want it and you can move it uh, while you're weed eating and you can feel the throttle uh, increase or decrease uh, to where you want it precisely. And uh, it's just a lot easier and it makes weed eating faster and less tiresome. So I'm gonna show you another uh, little bit here on these Leland Cypress trees. So if you're doing people's lawns or whatever and you don't wanna risk damaging the bark on their trees or weed eating around delicate flowers and plants, this is another area where this weed eater really shines uh, as far as being able to control the throttle speed. So now say I was, had the throttle turned down and I was weed eating around some small stuff, just going around trimming light grass, and then all of a sudden you hit something thick, you can just keep going. You can just keep your finger pulled on the throttle and just scroll this up with your thumb. So, so that's how that works, how that little scrolly throttle wheel deal, whatever you want to call it works. Really happy with this weed eater. Makes weed eating, like I say, and around fences and posts to breathe. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review of the Steel FS94R. Uh, hopefully, it helped you out if you were deciding that you wanted to purchase one. Um, be sure and hit the uh, 4M logo down there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen to subscribe, and uh, that really helps me out in making future videos. Also, if you liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.